However, I still enjoy doing web development and I definitely enjoy doing cloud development, so let's talk about that. So the first thing I'd like to talk to you about is .NET Core, .NET Standard, ASP.NET Core. Why is it important? And I think really when you talk about .NET Core, you kind of have to start with portable class libraries because it's really about compatibility. Okay? How can we share code on multiple platforms without changing anything? And the first effort that Microsoft put in that space was with portable class libraries, PCLs. So portable class libraries, the idea was to say, okay, I'm going to create a new class library, and then I'm going to select platforms on which it's going to run. And so, for example, you could start with .NET Framework 4.6, and then you could add, for example, Windows 10, and then you could add, for example, Xamarin. And basically, the result at the end is the intersection of the platform that you took, because there are subtle differences between the .NET implementation, the full .NET, and the .NET implementation for Windows 10 and the .NET implementation for Xamarin. Okay, some classes are missing or some, maybe some have more APIs than others. And so this approach is a little bit a problem. You can still do PCL today in Visual Studio. You can do a, you know, create new portable class library with C Sharp, for example. It's marked as legacy and there is a reason for that. Microsoft is trying to push you away from that and into .NET Standard, .NET Core. Okay, the main problem that we have with this approach is that it's a least common denominator approach, which means that if you start, for example, just with .NET Core, uh, with .NET 4.6 and with Windows 10, and then you have a class library and it builds, and then suddenly you decide, oh, I want to put this class library on Xamarin so that it runs on Android and iOS as well, then maybe suddenly it doesn't build anymore because suddenly you have used an API which is not there. So you can't really evolve your library as easily as you would like. Okay, so it's not great, and also it's really hard to know which version supports which, a which API, right? If I have, I don't know, HTTP client, for example, does it run on Xamarin, yes or no? It's really hard to answer this question. So a few years ago, uh, portable class libraries date 2011, so it's already pretty old, right? Um, a few years ago, the .NET team decided, okay, let's do something new, let's start from scratch and rethink compatibility. And the first thing they did was say, well, the PCL model is not great. Let's take something else. Let's think in a different manner. And so they decided to start with a, a new implementation of .NET called .NET Core. Okay, .NET is a specification, so you can have multiple implementations. We have multiple implementations, right? Xamarin is one, Windows 10 is one, Mono is one, for example, an open source one, etc. So they took the spec and then they said, okay, well, let's take just a few APIs, just what we need to do server-side applications like ASP.NET applications, okay? And they published that under the name .NET Core 1.0. So that was cool. The really cool thing is that it was running on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux, okay, which is really something new. Linux is not a cancer anymore, like, you know, back then our ex-CEO said. Uh, now, no, no, we really embrace Linux, and, you know, that's cool. Good. So we have now this small implementation. It was really small. It was not doing a lot, but it was running on all those platforms. And then we have, of course, the same problem as before, which is how do we know which API is going to run on what? Okay, so if I have, let's say, a .NET Core 1.0 application, can I use HTTP client, for example? And so in order to answer this question, which was really difficult to answer with the portable class libraries, Microsoft decided to do a specification called .NET Standard. So .NET Standard is the contract, if you want, and .NET Core is one of the possible implementations. So basically what it means is that if you say, okay, in .NET Standard, I have this list of APIs. In .NET Standard 1.3, for example, I have so many APIs. And .NET Core 1.3 happens to implement .NET Standard 1.3, then I know what I have. And I know that .NET Core is going to run on Windows, on Linux, on, um, on uh, Mac OS. If I have Xamarin, which supports .NET Standard these days 2.0, then I know that those APIs are going to run on Android and on iOS using Xamarin, okay? If I have Windows 10, which is another implementation of .NET Standard, then I know that I can use those classes. And in a future version of .NET Standard, 
they are talking about adding support for WPF and Windows Forms as well. So we'll see also desktop development adopting .NET standard. Mm -hmm. Okay? So that's kind of the idea.